and I'm loyal and I'm quitting alcohol. So the more I work this job, the more I'm starting to think that most of the immigrants that get let into this country are let in for the purposes of slave labor. And it doesn't seem like slave labor to the workers that are coming in because the money is good to them. Because everyone's on a different wage. If you're from overseas and they sponsor you to come over, you get dog shit money. Complete fucking dog shit money. So the companies bring over these workers to do the dog shit work for dog shit money. And I'm telling you right now, I was working with this guy from Hong Kong today and he was telling me what he does normally what his normal job is, which has been put on hold for the next four to five weeks, and he's working with us. So he's usually sandblasting and refurbing these big Navy ships. And I couldn't really understand his accent that well, but from what I gather, he was going in these compartments that were full of water while the ship was running, and then they drain it out, they dry dock it, they drain it out, and then they send the Filipinos and the Hong Kong dude into these tiny little confined spaces just to fucking clean it out. And this guy was like, it's hell in there. He's like, it's half a meter by half a meter, and you're fully suited up, full mask, and it's he's like, it stinks, it's like, fucking death in there and I'm like how long have you been doing that he's like about six years now <laughs> and he's doing the work I'm doing now and he's like oh it's so much easier over here oh my god it's so easy although I worked with him all day today and fucking he didn't find it very fucking easy moving the 135 kilogram fucking membrane In fact, he was of no help whatsoever. I had to move fucking myself. Anyway, he's telling me that it's only Filipinos that work there. He's like 90% of them are Filipinos. But he's like, heaps of people get the job. They just don't last. They last like two or three days. He's like, Australians come in all the time. They never last. So even though the companies really are bringing these people over as sort of slave labor. Eventually they earn good money, but it could take like six or seven years. But these companies need to bring the immigrants in because literally no Australian will do the fucking job. He's like the supervisor's Australian. He doesn't get his hands dirty, but no one else on the whole entire team. He said there's four people on the whole crew that speak English. (laughs) I'm like, that sounds about right. So on the one hand, you've got people complaining about immigration and I'm kind of one of them, except my wife. Do we really need this much immigration? Actually, even including her, do we need this much? And then on the other hand, who the fuck is going to do the job? Like, you couldn't even pay me enough money to get into one of those confined compartments to fucking do whatever the Hong Kong cunt was telling me he did. Like, if you tripled my money, I wouldn't do it. Forget about it. He's like, one of his other jobs is like cleaning out the grey water. I'm like, what's grey water? He's like, shit. (laughs) It's hard to get a bogan in a shit fucking... Tub. It's hard to get anyone in shit water, to be honest with you. I suppose the alternative is bring the immigrants in, but pay them well. But that's generally not what companies are into. They're not really into less profits. And another thing I noticed on these sites, not a lot of females. The ladies are woefully underrepresented in the art tunneling game. There's a female porta potty down there as well. I use it because it's the cleanest because there's no fucking females around. There's a couple of like project managers that lurk around every now and then. And there's a couple of fucking lollipop ladies, the uh, 
traffic controllers that are chicks, but aside from that, not a lot of the steel fixes, the form workers, the concreters, the waterproofers, not a lot of females around there. And I don't know how the ladies could physically do that work. But if you want even fucking pay, you got to get down there and get dirty with the lads. And it's good money too. Some of these general laborers, I was speaking to one today, he's clearing, clearing three and a half thousand dollars a week. That's like almost 300k a year. So three and a half thousand in his bank every week. That's insanity. And ladies, you could be earning that much money as well if you want to <laughs> get down there and bend some fucking steel. That's a general laborer as well. It keeps on bringing me back to that book, When Money Dies. And unskilled laborers in Weimar, Germany, during the hyperinflation, were asking for more money than doctors. And that seems to be the case in Australia right now. So I don't know what's going to happen. Probably nothing good. Anyway, that'll fucking do it for today. And I'll see ya the fuck later.